Hey guys, uh, we are at one of my hiring clients house today. He wanted us to come out and see if we could give him a little bit of help. He has done quite a bit of work in his backyard here to make it absolutely beautiful. He has several, several acres <clears throat> that we typically in the past have sprayed for uh, both weeds and mosquitoes. Um, Unfortunately, uh, some Bermuda grass he had planted, like with hydro seeding and whatnot, uh, is just not really taken. So I'm gonna use my 30T here, do a little bit of mapping. <clears throat> I'm gonna look for some thermal hot spots, see if uh, what he said, a lot of dirt hauled in, and then we're getting into irrigation, we're getting in, you know, to stuff like that. This is outside of our typical, uh, you know, turn row crop stuff. But this is just one of many more uses that we can find for our drones. Uh, I'll use the 30T or the M3M would have been great as well. Um, and then depending on what these results show, I'm gonna work with a local agronomist that actually owns a lawn care company to see what prescription we could come up with to spray his yard and possibly use our spreader to maybe put some seeds out. Otherwise, you know, hydro seeding, if you've ever seen it, it's kind of like, um, like soft kind of tissue looking stuff they put out over the lawn. So uh, come on over, we're going to launch this up. So with this, you want to watch and see he has a pretty good slope on his property. I wanted to make sure that when my takeoff area was going to be level from where I wanted it to actually scan because I've got my scan height in at about 20, uh, I'm sorry, about 122 feet. So I'm going to let it run through these actuations real quick. It's supposed to take 92 different uh, pictures or actuations and then we will switch over to thermal, see what we can do. Typically it, oh, there we go. I knew I had something turned down. You should be able to hear your shutter. Now the M30T does not have a mechanical shutter like the M3M. So we're not gonna have as good a quality as the M3M, but for something as simple as grass like this, the high-res camera on the M30T should be enough for us. I don't typically use the M30T for any other agriculture means. You know, the M30T is created for search and rescue, and with it being sealed, weather sealed, stuff like that, it's obviously much better for that. But in a pinch, we can use it to at least get us some baseline images. This one's more so gonna help us when I switch over to thermal and look at the hot spots on where he doesn't have any grass at to see if it's a possibility that um, we've got some, you know, there's thermal vents, there's all kinds of uh, hot spots under the ground that we can detect with our thermal. So we're gonna wait and see what that shows in just a sec when it finishes this flight route. If you've ever scanned with an M3, with the Mavic 3 Multispectral versus uh, the M30T, it's significantly different as far as speed goes. The M30T is much slower. Uh, typically, we'll just use our M30T as our scout drone. We'll look ahead at things, kind of get an eyeball for stuff. You know, it's got the zoom lens, it's got the thermal, it's better for scouting like that. It's not really designed for doing acres upon acres upon acres upon acres. Uh, that's going to be definitely the Mavic 3 Multispectral that has the mechanical shutter, that has the four extra lenses, that's able to give us all the different bands of light, infrared, and things like that. So. This is about done, then I'm gonna take over and we're gonna look at some things. So one thing you can see that people talk about, it's got a route where it's gonna fly back into the middle there, and that's when it's gonna take more of the oblique views as well. So you don't just get a straight down shot, it actually has a almost like a depth perception shot come in where it's gonna get some actuations coming back that way to kind of give the map more depth. Uh, now obviously if you were using um, uh, like a Matrice 350 RTK, it's gonna scan significantly different. All right, we are all done. So wh now what I'm gonna do, as they say, switch into thermal. So we're gonna switch over to infrared. And that's the front of the house. All right, so there's the pool. And it's kind of hard to see on this mode here, but the lighter discoloration here they were showing about 99 degrees. Over here in the grass, we're at 95. So these hot spots back here are also, so I mean, that one's actually 92. So the coolest part is back, obviously we're shading around the trees. 
but all these lighter spots is where we have dead grass and it's pretty much just soil so we can't just go off that by itself because i mean obviously soil is going to be a hotter um is, is going to be a hotter temperature than grass which is going to diffuse it or cooler so you know right now the soil is 95 degrees the actual areas that have grass 95 degrees there's also a dead spot over here that i saw yesterday you can see right here that still has grass and it's rated 95 degrees so even with grass it's still the exact same temperature as the part over here that has no grass and it's just soil um, we can switch these views around um, we can do like an iron red iron red uh, typically can be better for soil and thermal venting and stuff like that so it's still giving us the same you know out rating so uh, but this is good information to have I'm gonna send this over to my agronomist soil special guy and see what we can come up to help this client like i said this is just one of many 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 more uses for our drone to where uh, you know now we're getting into the large spanning acres and you know instead of killing barnyard grass uh, we're going to try to preserve some grass so uh, that's like i said just one more big use we can find for our drones and you know i get asked all the time well can you do this can you do that with the drone the answer is almost always yes it's just doing it you know by compliance, legally, things like that. So, uh, but anyway, we will get these images out, get another video up for you. Thanks, guys.